Welcome to the video. This is gonna be a Canon A1 tutorial. Basically, I'm just gonna show you what all the different buttons mean, a little bit about the settings, how to load a film, everything you need to know to start shooting with this camera. And I will show you guys some pictures at the end of the video that I shot with this camera. I personally love this camera. It was the first film camera that I bought and it hooked me instantly to the whole film photography world. I like the black design, just simple. Let's uh, start with the video. Before you can start, you need to put in batteries. Obviously mine already has batteries in. But to get to the battery, you open this one. Easiest is with a coin. Turn it, turn it, turn it till it's open. There is like a little thing you need to push in with your nails to open it. And that's the kind of battery you need. It's a... I don't even know what this is. Um, it's a... Ding! Correct answer. Put it back in with the plus sign up. Close the door and put the handle back on. There's this little hole and you can slide it over that little dot, whatever this is. So it lines up perfectly. To screw it in, let me see if I can do this. Yes. Tighten it proper. There we go. You don't really need this, but to me it's essential. It's so perfect for the grip. If you see this little thing here, there's an A and a red L. If it's on the red L, it's locked. So if my camera is loaded, I press the shutter and nothing happens. So I can put it in my bag and whatever. And even if it's ready to shoot, it doesn't just fire in the back. And if I put it back on A, it shoots. This is the shutter button. This is the film winder. You wind it, you shoot. You wind it, you shoot. Pretty simple. Here you can see the shutter speed and you change it right here. Changing wheel for the shutter speed. There is also this little thing right here. I don't know how to call it, but you push it up and the shutter speed wheel is locked or protected. You can use this so you don't accidentally change it, but I never use it. The aperture is on the lens. You can change it right here, F11 f8 whatever you need so depending what kind of film you put in you see this little it's called asa or iso so it's already on 400 because at the end of the video i'm gonna put in some tri x 400 black and white film let's say you have to change it see this little button you have to push it in and then you can change the wheel to iso 800 200 whatever you need on this side on the same ring there is like a compensator so let's say you want to over or under expose you can change the same wheel but not pressing this button here but this one right here you press it and you can change it uh, yeah, what else we got? This is the viewfinder right here. Light meter. That's why we put a battery in. We'll show you through the viewfinder. Let me put the cap back on right here. Behind the winder, you can see the counter. It shows you how many pictures you've shot, so you know how many you have left. Then there's also the self-timer feature, 10 seconds or two seconds. Mine is broken, so I can't show you how it works. Hot shoe, if you wanna shoot with a flash. But what I really like about this camera too is there's basically three modes, aperture priority, shutter priority, or just fully manual. The way I use it usually is fully manual. So changing the aperture here, shutter speed, as I told you with this wheel, here you see the number. And the viewfinder will show you if you're under or overexposing. So you just adjust until it's the right exposure. To do shutter priority, you go all the way to the A, right here, this green A for automatic. Push this little button on the lens, put it on A. So now the camera will choose the right aperture for the shutter speed I selected. Which is pretty cool if you want to shoot fast, but I prefer manual so I can over or underexpose depending on the scene. You can change the wheel here to aperture priority. So you choose your aperture here, 
the numbers changed to the aperture numbers and the camera will choose the right shutter speed. And if you're beginning with film photography or you is, things gotta go fast, it's really cool to use one of those two options. All right. All right, let's load some film. We're gonna use some Tri-X 400, which is one of my favorite black and white films. All right, to load the film here on this wheel, we can open that little thing and pull it out a little more and the door opens. To put the film in, goes this way, this little thing down. Just put it in and pull on the film. Let me show you a little closer. You put the film end in one of those slots and then here you can see in the holes, you can fit it in there too. You have to actually. And then you just start turning on this wheel until it grabs it. And then I usually wind it like this, just to make sure it all works. You push this one back in, turn it until it goes all the way in, close it. And now what I usually do is two of those and now it's on zero so I can start shooting. All right, so once you are done with shooting, you press this button on the downside of the camera and then open this one again and you see the arrow shows in this direction and then you can start rewinding your film just until you feel no more pressure it's easy to feel once it's all the way re rewinded and yeah open it back up i'm not gonna do it now because i don't want to ruin my film then you're done you send it to the lab or develop at home whatever you want to do and put the next one in yeah so thank you for watching to everybody who owns a canon a1 congratulations i love that camera i hope so do you and yeah enjoy shooting have a good day bye bye